It takes six wins to become bowl eligible in the NCAA, and that is the goal UTSA can accomplish today if they can knock off the 5-4 and four Marshall Thundering Herd. Welcome everybody back to the NCAA football action today as UTSA prepares to take on Marshall in their third straight game away from the Alamo Dome, and they're also trying to snap a three-game losing streak. And one of the big storylines revolving around this team is the quarterback situation. Who is going to start today for UTSA? Are they going to stick with their two quarterback system or will we see one guy take over? Into the first quarter action we go as Marshall begins this game on offense. They're led by quarterback Rakeem Cotto. If you remember from last year, he was very dominant against UTSA, and he's a very good dual threat quarterback. They get off to a good start, and they'll hand it off to Trayvon Van, the running back. He crosses midfield, and Richard Burge catches up to him. They'll take him down the legs in UTSA territory. A new set of downs, and now Cotto wants the run. He's got room, and he'll escape two defenders. We take him down by Nick Johnston, just across the 30 yard line. Have to watch Rakeem Cotto. UTSA has their work cut out for them trying to stop this rushing attack. It's going to be a lot of kind of what we saw against Tulsa last week. A lot of option and a lot of misdirection in the backfield. And it appears Raheem Cotto is actually shaken up. They're going to put in the backup quarterback. This is Blake Fraunaffel, and he is going to throw an errant pass out of bounds. Maybe he threw that one away, but Marshall takes a 3-0 lead. And now we see UTSA come onto the field for offense for the first time today. Evan Newton is the quarterback right away as he's out of the shotgun. No surprise here as he's played all the shotgun snaps when he's been healthy for the last three weeks. And UTSA goes 3-0 in their first drive, and now Marshall with the football again. Hand off to Wilkins out of the jet sweep. A lot of what we saw against Tulsa, like I said. Third down and one coming up now. Rakeem Cotto out of the shotgun. Trayvon Van to his left. He'll run option left side. And no one accounts for the quarterback within the first couple of yards. And so Marshall has a first down as UTSA keeps showing blitz. And they're going to try to get pressure on Cotto, and they do. He sets up a screen pass. It took too long to develop, and UTSA sacks him for a loss of a dozen. Now a handoff to Trayvon. Von Van. Great blocking into the second level, and he shoves away Kyle Nichols. Get out of his way. And he picks up the sack yardage plus more, so now it is third down and five. And Cotto wants to scramble. He shakes off a Richard Burge. First down and more to the 30, and taken down by Mike Butler. As you can see, the tackling woes for, UC for uh, UTSA, as well as their quarterback containment, is already struggling. But on third and six, Trayvon Van can't escape the sea of white jerseys as he's taken down for uh, maybe a loss of one and Marshall will tack on a field goal. It is now 6-0 as UTSA's defense has done well at stopping Marshall's offense once they get deep into their own territory. So UTSA is only down by a score, still handoff. Anthony Banks out of the shotgun. Evan Newton still in the game, by the way. This run accounts for five yards as UTSA is still yet to run a snap from under center. Evan Newton out of the gun again, second and five, and he had a wide open Jason Todd. He had a couple of yards of separation off of the linebacker, and this one was overshot by Newton, so it's third down and five. He has to get the ball to about the 30-yard line for a first down. He'll sling it over the middle, and it's hauled in by David Morgan, the senior tight end, and he has a first down for UTSA. This drive will keep moving. Second down and 11. Newton to throw. Looking deep down the left side. He's got a man with a step, and he overshot Cam Jones, who has hauled in three touchdowns of 70 yards or more in the last few games for UTSA. It's now third down and 11. Newton fires to the right side. It's hauled in by Tim Whitaker. He has been the option for Newton quite a bit now lately as a third down target. And now it is first down and 10. Newton wide open. Cam Jones will take a big hit, but get right back up. Actually, check that. That was Randy Jones, the freshman, remember, who's getting a little bit of playing time now. Now it is second down and 11 and throws it up for Cam Jones, but it's knocked out of his hands. That would have been a very difficult catch. It's now third down and 11. After you get to the 31-yard line, and Newton's going to get sacked in the backfield. The ball is out, but UTSA recovers, and they are forced to punt after a long drive that only gets them about halfway across the field. And now Marshall the football, third and six, and Trayvon Van takes a swing pass, and he is driven out of bounds by John Walker. Great job with the senior outside linebacker, and UTSA is back on offense now as Newton takes the read option. He follows Anthony Banks. He will pick up about four, will go to third down and six. Three wide in the tight end in the slot right for Evan Newton out of the gun. Anthony Banks to his left. He draws the defender off sides. He'll take a shot long. He's got a man. It's Cam. Cam Jones to the 10. Touchdown. Cam Jones does it again. Where is this coming from? He is hungry right now. He wants to go to a bowl game. Of course, they decline the penalty. It's a one-point lead now for UTSA. And keep in mind, 
I'm not sure they've played a snap from under center yet in this game. They're running the shotgun offense pretty effectively so far. Second down and 14 now for Rakeem Kato as Marshall tries to answer back. He's got a man open. It's Tommy Schuler, and he's across the 30-yard line. And that'll bring up a third down and short upcoming now out of the shotgun. Still probably won't see them play from under center all game. Hand out to Trayvon Van. Runs through Cody Rogers, and he's taken down by Kyle Nichols. Also, Tristan Wade and Alondre Thorne on the tackle, and UTSA will take over after a Marshall punt. Second down 11. First under center snap, and it's caught by Jason Toth, the play action boot, and John Simmons is not in the game. It appears UTSA is going with Evan Newton for this entire game now. We've seen him play under center and shotgun. I think it's a lot more clear now as Glasgow takes his handoff for four yards. We're going to see Evan Newton this whole afternoon more than likely. Second down and six. Pass to Jason Todd. It's short for about two yards. That'll bring up a third down and four as UTSA has to get to about midfield now with two and a half to go roughly. Third and four. Newton, he finds Whitaker again on a third down conversion. He's down and at the 35-yard line. Just keep him flying across the middle and Newton appears to have some pretty good chemistry here with Tim Whitaker. Now it's a it's a jet sweep with a handoff to Glasgow going on the other side and the misdirection handoff is actually going to pay off big time and we'll see Glasgow get the first down here across the 20 yard line inside the 10 third down and five now from the five yard line for Evan Newton he has twin tight ends and two receivers left he'll stand in the pocket now evades pressure moving to his left now and he's taken down no options for Newton wanted to play it safe good job to not throw a dangerous throw into the end zone they'll take the nine play 56 yard drive capped off by a 28 yard Shanayano field goal 10-6 road runners with a little over a minute to go in the first half we'll see Rakeem Kettle try to take back the lead from Marshall with a little bit of time to go before halftime second down and 10 now caught to the outside it's wide open and Evans across the 50 and he's taken down in the UTSA territory and so they're in business now with one timeout in 60 seconds to go Kato sends everybody long and he's just going to take off himself a very well designed quarterback run as he sends all the receivers deep opening up the middle of the field with only one or two defenders having the chance of taking down Kato early. On first down they go to that screen again and their screens are not developing quick enough. UTSA sacks him again for a loss of 10 and now over the middle this is this must be the brother I'm going to assume it's the brother of Blake Fraunaffel this is the tight end Eric Fraunaffel. And here's Kato scrambling on third down and 13. He takes a hit, and the ball's out. It's a fumble, and Andre Ross has it. Dominic Carter laid the blow on Rakeem Kato that jarred the ball loose. And UTSA will take this 10-6 lead into halftime. Be very content with where they are right now. Good showing from quarterback Evan Newton so far, and we'll see if they can cap this off in the second half. Coming up shortly. Third quarter action coming your way out of the shotgun. It's Evan Newton leading UTSA's offense onto the field. He'll do a read option and now sling it out to Jason Todd. It's intercepted. Marshall has it. It's leg to the 32-yard line and he's taken down. And the first play from scrimmage for UTSA is a turnover and Marshall's now in striking distance. They only have a four-point deficit. Now Rakeem Kyle with a read option of his own. He'll keep it himself and go up the right side. Nobody home for UTSA and he gets about 12 yards on the carry as, as uh, Marshall is now inside of the Red zone, it's third and seven after you get to the 10 yard line. Kato, end zone, has a man and overthrew him. He had Jazz King working on Darian Sterling, and that was an inaccurate pass by Kato. It's 10 9 after a third field goal for Marshall. And Evan Newton now going to the ground game, trying to rebound after that interception. And Glasgow bouncing off of tacklers and his own blockers, even. He gets about five yards in this carry. Pretty good after all uh, being trapped for a second. Now it's third down and three. Newton rolling out to his left. Now it's a man open on the sideline. He'll find him. Kenny Harrison has both feet in bounds. So you know it's a real catch. And here is the stat line for Evan Newton on the day so far 8 for 16. 148 yards, kind of what we hope we would see from Newton in this game. First and 10, he fakes the read option, and he wanted to go to Banks quickly, but he was taken down for the loss of 7. And so after the sack, it's second down and 17. Draws the defender off size. It's not called. He got back in time. And Banks will take this handoff for about one yard, or actually it's a loss of one yard. So third down and 18 now. Four wide for Newton after to cross the 45-yard line of Marshall for a first down. And Newton standing tall in the pocket, rolling out to his right. He'll throw to the sideline. He has a man, and it's overshot and incomplete intended for Tim Whitaker. 
and Marshall's defense holds, and now a field goal could actually get them back their lead. Second and five, hand out to Trayvon Van. Here comes Cody Rogers flying out of nowhere, and he gets the tackle. He'll stop him short of the first down marker, so it's third down and inches. Cotto takes a snap. He'll run with it, but he meets Richard Burge, and he will lose a yard and a half, and UTSA's defense holds them. But after a fantastic punt, UTSA has it inside their own one yard line. Evan Newton dumps it off to Anthony Banks. He's up to about the five yard line, giving UTSA some breathing room, at least from their own end zone, as Newton stands at his own goal line for this shotgun snap on third down and five. Having to get to their own 11 yard line. And Newton takes a snap, a four man rush for Marshall. And Newton will wait and find Cam Jones flying across the middle. He's got a first down to the 15 yard line. Cam's second catch on the afternoon. And it seems whenever Cam catches the ball, it's at a it's in a big situation. Second down and 12 now. Newton in the pocket. Waiting and now taking off. He has room to run. He'll slide ahead across the yellow marker. That is good for a first down to about the 25, 26 yard line. But now it is third down and 10. Trips left for Newton as he takes a shotgun snap. He'll fire to the left side and it's incomplete intended for Cam Jones. Not a very accurate pass by Evan Newton, but at least they got some yards on that drive to play the field position game with Marshall a little bit. As Rakeem Cotto is going to take off again. UTSA giving him too much space. He's across midfield and into UTSA territory. 6.45 to go in the fourth quarter and Cotto read option. Keeps it himself up the middle. Has a lead blocker and he's across the 30 yard line and Rakeem Cotto Cotto is just tearing apart this defense on the run on first and ten. This time the screen works, but Trayvon Van is taken down by John Walker after a gain of two yards. And so the second down and eight. Cotto standing in the pocket, only a four-man rush. And Cotto's now going to scramble, and he's taken down the 35. He's sacked by John Walker. It'll be third down and 12 as they're on the edge of field goal range. They do have a strong-legged kicker. But they hope they don't have to use him on this drive. Ezra Keem's pass is well out of bounds. That was inaccurate. So send out Justin Haig. He's 3 for 3 on the day. And this is a 52-yarder. The kick is away. It's sailing towards the uprights. And he drilled it. He may be kicking those on Sundays. That was pretty impressive. That gives Marshall a 12-10 lead as UTSA's defense is doing a great job of playing damage control after Marshall gets some big gashes on their own side of the field. We'll see Danny Moss now on the ensuing kickoff, and he's up past the 30, but he's tripped up. He had open space, but luckily someone was able to trip him up, and now it's UTSA ball up with their own 35-yard line. A handoff goes to Anthony Banks out of the gun, five yards ahead, and now back under center. Handoff to David Glasgow. Up the middle, Richie Battle leading the way. He gets about four yards. So third down and one. We'll see if UTSA sticks with the ground game as Battle is still in the game. A tight end left. Hand off Glasgow. He'll go to the right side where there's a little bit of space and he gets the one yard necessary. And UTSA will keep this moving with 4.46 to go in the fourth quarter. New set of downs and Newton fakes the handoff to Glasgow on the play action. He'll lob it right side deep and Jason Todd comes up with it. What a catch by the tight end. That pass was dangerous. It was in traffic. We'll see another look at it here. Here is a throw by Newton, and it's just over the arms of the defender, and you can see how close this one really was. It was Jason Todd's size allowing him to make this grab as the closest defender right there was Keith Baxter, number 8. He's a 5'11 cornerback. Big mismatch when you look at it that way. First and 10 now. Newton scrambling out of the pocket. Wants to turn the corner. He can't, and he's taken down. And he is still down and shaken up. So enter John Simmons now as hopefully this injury is not at all serious. He's already been hurt a couple times this year. One for an extended period. As his handoff goes to Glasgow, he'll get a few. And now third down and four as time is ticking away. Handoff to Glasgow and he'll go outside. And he gets the first down across the 15-yard line. Great job by David Glasgow. And we're receiving word that it's Evan Newton having back spasms on the sideline, and they're going to play him. He's going to play through the pain. First down and 10. Newton out of the shotgun. He'll stand in the pocket, rolling out to his right now, looking downfield, firing to the end zone. Touchdown, Randy Jones. This kid has come with some big plays lately, and these young freshmen on this UTSA team are fun to watch. Here is the throw by Newton, and Randy Jones in the back of the end zone. Right foot is down, put six on the board. 
please, as UTSA is going for the two-point conversion to make it a six-point game. Newton, he has a man. It's sitting down. Kenny Harrison, he makes the catch, and it's 18-12, to a low-scoring game for two offenses that love to run out of the shotgun. Kind of surprising. 2.05 to go in the fourth quarter as Cotto wants to take off. UTSA playing pretty soft, not giving up a big play, but uh, they're going to give Cotto the first down. Now on first and ten, it's Trayvon Van tripped up ahead of the first down marker, a gain of nine. Vi Marshall's great on their own side of the field, but it's when they cross the 50 when they start having problems getting those first downs. And once again, we're seeing it here. This pass is Arrington out of bounds, and it's fourth down and one. Now Marshall is going for it. Cotto, handoff Van. He's got the first down, and he's taken down at midfield now. We'll see if Marshall gets their offense going now that they're on the other side of the 50-yard line. Second and ten for Cotto in traffic. And the pass is caught by Tommy Schuler. That was an extremely tight window. I'm not sure how he fit that one in. We'll take a second look at it. As you can see, there's only one receiver on the right side, but everybody's running that way. And he fits in right behind the head of Nick Johnston. Luckily, Tommy Schuler's standing right there in front of the UTSA defenders. Now at a second and 12. Cotto with a screen to Van. And Dominique Carter, the sure tackling middle linebacker. He takes him down for a loss. It's third down and 16 to go under one minute to go in the game as Cotto from his own 45 yard line stepping up and looking to take off no he's sacked in the backfield it's a loss of four and Ashad Mabry takes him down it's now fourth and 20 perhaps the last shot for Marshall in this game they need to get to the 20 yard line Cotto's got to go along with it and he'll go to Wilkins and it's dropped incomplete UTSA takes over on downs and they'll line up Evan Newton under center in the victory formation and it's going to be all over, folks. UTSA is officially a bowl-eligible team at 6-4 and four on the season. We've seen this program develop over the course of the last two and almost three seasons overall, and UTSA has now improved to a 6-4 and four team after going 3-9 and nine the previous two years. All the hard work, all of the recruiting, all of the player development, it's now paying off as UTSA may be celebrating the end of the year in a bowl game. They're now bowl eligible. does not mean they're going to go to a bowl game necessarily. They want to get some more wins for insurance, obviously, but they have the six wins necessary, and now they can rest up and enjoy this victory and this accomplishment before they take on Tulane in Week 13. If you guys would like to see the bye week as a recruiting video, I can post that next episode, or we can jump right to the Tulane game, so let me know in the comment section, guys. But thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. We're bull eligible, baby!